Hey guys, welcome to the FreezeWorks 2019 learning series, your visual guide to our sample management software. So you'd like to upgrade to FreezeWorks 2019. Well, that's wonderful. We've done so many things with 2019 that we'd love for you to implement as soon as possible. To learn more about those things, see our What's New video. Today, however, we're going to spend all of our time in FreezeWorks 2018, preparing for our upgrade to 2019. Then, in the next video, we'll upgrade, run the pre-upgrade reports, and finally I'll take you through the steps you'll want to complete following the upgrade and prior to deploying the software for production. Before we get started, first ensure that you are in the latest version of FreezeWorks 2018, 10.1.06. The nature of the 2019 upgrade means you may have to run it multiple times, and upgrades prior to 10.1.06 were very data intensive. Save yourself some time and use the About FreezeWorks option in the Help and Support menu to ensure you are in the latest version. Now, before the actual upgrade, there are five major things you need to do. Number one, obtain the admin user account password, as you'll need to log in as the admin for the upgrade to run. Now this is the super admin user, the one in all caps, not just any user with a system administrator role. Number two, make a backup of the data file immediately prior to upgrade. You can make one now and one after you make the changes that we'll discuss in a second. You can never be too careful. Number three, test new hardware and software environments before the upgrade. Do this with a validation copy of FreezeWorks so as to ensure things run perfectly in production. Number four, map out group access to samples in 2018. In other words, record how users are securing their samples. And number five, reassign sample ownership to current users. The first three steps should already be quite familiar to you if you've upgraded before, but it's these last two that are exclusive to the 2019 upgrade and what we'll be discussing in detail today. See, by far, the most widespread change we've made in 2019 is to sample security. Sample security in FreezeWorks is based on the owner of a sample, and prior to 2019, owners were always individual users. A sample's creator was its owner by default. You then set up access to samples on a user-to-user -user basis, which, for a number of reasons, can cause headaches. Users leave and orphan samples. You get a new user that joins an existing group. Maybe even another user joins. And finally, new groups come in and require access to existing samples. And pretty soon, your securities look like a spider web. In 2019, though, samples will instead be owned by entire groups, simplifying security maintenance in the long run. A user leaves? No problem, as their group owns any samples that they created. Got a new user? Just add them to a group, and the existing securities will automatically apply. Now. This will obviously change your system quite a bit if you currently use sample security. Let's go through a few examples so you understand how things are going to work in the upgrade. Let's imagine a group name laboratory that user Mary is a part of. Mary owns samples in 2018. In 2019, the ownership will simply switch to laboratory. Now, let's imagine in 2018 that Mary's group was given access to samples owned by another user, Randy but not access to user Joe's samples. If Randy and Joe are both in the group research, this will create a conflict during upgrade. FreezerWorks will automatically fix this conflict in 2019 by giving the laboratory group access to the research group samples, regardless of Joe's personal settings. In other words, the least restrictive setting from 2018 will be used. Now during the upgrade, you will receive a pre-upgrade report listing every conflict so you can return to 2018 and either fix them or plan for the changes. In this previous example, for instance, to fix the conflict and maintain the same security, we need to create a new group in 2018 that user Joe is a part of, and then remove Joe from any other group. That way, laboratory would have restricted access to the new group samples, and thus Joe's, but not Randy's. Now what happens if Mary owns samples in 2018 but is also a member of multiple groups, laboratory, and research. FreezeWorks will provide a separate report listing all of these instances during the pre-upgrade process, and if you continue with the upgrade, it will automatically create new groups to handle them, like so. 
New groups will be given the prefix DWD so you can easily tell which ones these are and rename them if you'd like. This will only occur though if the user who is a member of multiple groups also owns samples. So you can fix this in 2018 by reassigning ownership of the samples to users in a single group. With owner name on the list view, use batch update to do this quickly. Alternatively, you could remove the user from multiple groups, but this may not be ideal. Finally, due to this change to sample ownership and the groupless nature of the admin super user, any samples owned by admin must be reassigned before the upgrade can be completed. Start by searching your database for all samples with the owner name of admin. I'm going to use simple search and just look for the owner name is equal to admin. Then, with the owner name on the list view, begin using batch update to reassign ownership as you see fit. Just ensure that the new owners are not members of multiple groups so that no new conflicts arise. And that's it for today's upgrade prep talk. The 2019 upgrade is a big one, and we can't possibly cover everything in a five minute video. If you need any help, don't hesitate to call support. Otherwise, in our next video, I'll demonstrate the upgrade process and discuss what you'll need to accomplish post upgrade to implement FreezeWorks 2019. Thank you for watching, I'll see you then.